Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. This vlog is probably going to be a short one because today is Sunday and I haven't really done anything with the shop this week. Unfortunately, my allergies are really, really bad this week. I just have not been able to like function. Today is one of the days where I'm feeling a little bit better. So I'm gonna try to get as much things as I can done today. As you can see, we're at my packing table because I have a few orders to pack this week. Throughout the week, I did have quite a few plant accessory orders, which I usually get them shipped out the next day or same day so that's why you don't really see me pack on days other than Sunday because I try to get them out as soon as possible it doesn't really make sense to set up the camera because it's so fast so in my last vlog I told you guys that I did find a new wholesaler in addition to the one that we already have and in that vlog I did showcase some new anthuriums I had got like a sample order just to test them out so make sure you guys go ahead and check that vlog out I did restock those anthuriums this past Thursday so we did sell a few of them and a lot of you guys left me some really great feedback on that video because I was talking about some other accessories and samples and things like that I really appreciate everybody's comments your feedback does really help a lot when it comes to deciding what I should bring to the shop so thank you guys all for commenting and thank you to the people that don't normally comment who did comment because it does help a lot so I appreciate it so like I said this vlog is gonna be short I only have like three days to edit this probably not even three like two and what I need to do is pack these orders I have to restock the shop for this coming Thursday which means taking out plants cleaning them up labeling them getting pictures of them and working on my site I did water the plants on Friday night so I will also toss that clip in here as well because I think it's been a while since I recorded me watering the whole studio. And then finally this week, we got the acrylic plant display cases. Finally, they are here, but there's a lot of work before I can start stocking them on the site. I am gonna try to do it today. James is gonna help me. We have like 250 of them and what I have to do is open each and every one, check each one if there's any cracks in them because if there are any cracks or any are broken, I have to let the vendor know so I can obviously get my money back. So that is gonna take a while. And when I'm doing that, I'm also going to be like wrapping them up in bubble wrap, getting the instructions on there, making sure that they are packed and like set aside. We've decided that I'm just going to hold probably like 25 to 30 up here at a time. And then the rest, I'm going to hold them in the garage and bring them upstairs as needed. So I have a ton of boxes of those and they're super heavy. So. We're probably gonna do that process downstairs because it doesn't make sense for me to bring them all upstairs and then bring them back downstairs. So anyway, let's go ahead and get into the plants that sold this weekend. The first plant we have here, this is Hoya Crassviolata. And then we have Anthurium Waterburyanum crossed with an Anthurium Queen. And then we have Anthurium Crystallinum crossed with Anthurium Splendidum. Then we have Anthurium Doriaki, Anthurium Bessier Aff, and then we have this beautiful Hoya here on the trellis. Also this week I did sell a bunch of trellises on the site and on Etsy and a lot of potting mixes and things too. My Etsy is actually picking up. You guys know I don't really pay that much attention to my Etsy but it's a goal of mine this year to really try to like focus on that as well because it does help. I would prefer that everybody shops from my website but Etsy is a great place to help me get that traffic. I don't sell plants on Etsy at all, only just plant accessories but I do notate on Etsy that I do have an official website that has plants and I definitely do see people coming from Etsy to the shop and then making a purchase because I can actually see all the analytics from everybody around the world actually there's like a huge world map on my website that I can see how long you've been on the site where you started to what's in your cart I can see everything and it does help a lot as a business owner understand what people are looking at and it does tell me where people are coming from too so a lot of my traffic actually comes from Instagram and YouTube to, but Etsy is definitely making a come up as well for the traffic that's coming to the shop. So definitely if you're a small business owner and you're struggling with traffic to your site, like your shop or your website, whatever you are using, definitely make sure that you're on social media somewhere because you'd be surprised the conversion rate that you have when you're on like Instagram and YouTube and stuff like that. And there are plenty of other like selling websites that you can use as well. Just getting your name out there, even like Facebook and stuff like that, you'd be surprised how many people will actually see your content and will click that link in your bio and get to your website. So I'm gonna go ahead and pack these orders and then we can move on to restocking the shop.
So we are definitely getting closer and closer to being almost done with the heat packs and thermal wrap. Spring is definitely right around the corner. It has warmed up so much here in New Jersey. It's crazy. This winter wasn't that bad for us over here. I think we had about a week where we got like snow a couple days in a row and that was really it. And that was I think in January maybe. But surprisingly my business doesn't really slow down that much in the winter time. I obviously do ship all year round and that's why I use the heat packs and the thermal wrap because it does help protect the plants in the winter while they're being shipped. I leave it up to the customer to decide if they want to add on a heat pack or thermal wrap or both. But I am definitely excited for spring despite all the allergies that are going to come along with it for me. I know a lot of you guys are waiting until the weather gets warmer so you guys can place an order. So I am definitely anticipating a busy spring and summer this year. I'm thinking that in the summer especially, I'm going to be ordering a lot more plants than I normally do. Last summer was the best summer that I've ever had for the shop. When I was doing my taxes this year for 2023, I was going through each quarter and in June, July, and August is where I made the absolute most income for the entire year. During that time, I was in the process of my move. I had just bought this house and I was not even completely set up to where I wanted to be and I still did so well with what I had. Now that I'm fully set up and I have my routine down, I'm going to be ordering double the plants I normally do a month for the summertime just so that I can keep up with the demand. So this spring and summer is definitely going to be a busy season for me, but I am really excited about it and I'm excited for a lot of you guys to be able to finally shop because I know you guys were waiting for so long. Hopefully this spring and summer we'll see some new and different plants on the market. I am definitely excited because usually around this time the greenhouses definitely get an influx of plants themselves so that means more plants for you guys. So far this year has been amazing and I'm super excited to see what spring and summer bring me coming up. I watered and fertilized the entire studio Friday night. I used Dynagro to fertilize as you guys can see. Lately I used my three and a half gallon bucket along with my sprayer that I got from Amazon to water all the plants. You can see it makes my life so much easier. The shelves are definitely pretty bare at the moment but I have a ton of propagations that I have stored away in bins which I'm going to show you guys. A common question that I keep getting is where are these clear trays from? They are from Target. You can find them in the container section. They are the 10 10 by 10 by 2 bright room acrylic clear trays they sell the exact ones in the bathroom section but for some reason they are like more expensive so definitely look in the container section first at the time when i bought all these i don't remember i think that they were like six or seven dollars so i don't know if the price has changed i literally bought all of them if you guys remember that that was so funny and they work great as drip trays for the plants for my rudsa cabinet i actually put a layer of leca in them and it works great as a drip tray and humidity tray at the same time. I'll probably end up doing that to the shop plants as well because as you can see a ton of water does just sit in the trays so usually after an hour or two I'll come back in here and I'll just dump them but having the layer of LECA allows the plants to sit on top of it so they won't be just sitting in water for too long. This shelf is dedicated to propagations and rehab plants. These are all little seedlings that I have growing. I just keep them in this really shallow bin because they fit perfectly in there. And then in here are some rehabs. You'd be surprised how many plants come damaged when I unbox them from shipment. So any rehabs, they just sit in there. And then in this bin, I just have all of my current propagations that are in stratum and perlite. Even though the shop shelves are kind of empty, I do have a ton of props in these bins. So once they're ready, I will be able to sell them. 
this is mostly my personal collection here i do keep my personal collection and the shop plants together in this one room it's just easier for me i have a few plants downstairs in my living room but not that many anymore because it's just easier for me to have all plants in one room i have a really hard time caring for plants that are spread out around the house and to be honest i just prefer all my plants to be in one place so on this shelf i have my acrylic plant display cases which are these boxes that you're seeing me water now and they are finally back in stock i'm going to be talking about them a little bit more in depth in the next coming clips and then at the bottom i have my little ikea greenhouse that i got which i don't really care too much about i think it's cute and it matches my style but right now i just have some random propagations in there nothing special So on the other shelf, I have my EXO here. This is a Refty Zoo EXO. To be honest, I wish I did get a bigger one because as you can see, it's super cramped. I never realized how large my anthuriums actually are. And overall, honestly, I do feel like I'm a little disappointed in it, but I will talk about that another time. At the bottom of the shelf, I do have some of my plants that are on planks. They are doing really well, and a lot of them are clinging to the plank, which makes me really happy. And then between the shelves, I do have my Millsville Tall. I've had my Millsville Tall for a couple years now. It's one of my favorite cabinets. I did recently sell my Double Detox, finally. I've had it for sale for the last like three months. I did really love that cabinet, but it just takes up too much space right now. And since I moved to my new home, I find that I really enjoy just growing the plants in regular humidity like on shelves. I was definitely more into cabinets when I was at my apartment because that's all I could really do. We didn't have any windows or anything like that so I kind of had to keep my plants in the cabinets. But in my Millsville I do just keep some Hoyas on the top shelf and then in the bottom is just a mixture of some other plants and I also do have a Rudsta Wide which I didn't showcase in this video because I actually watered it a few days prior to watering these plants. I've been much better at getting my restocks prepared a few days in advance instead of waiting until the day before. I've already picked out some plants that I want to restock this week. It's just going to be a small batch, nothing crazy. I only do really one really large restock like in the beginning of the month and then throughout the month I will do some smaller ones just depending on what I have. I am a smaller store and I am one person, so I'm just not capable of really just having big restocks every single week. It's just a ton of work. So this week we do just have a few plants, which is easy and manageable for me. So what I like to do is usually just prep them and then later in the week, I will like edit the pictures and update the shop because that is a little bit easier. I just sit on the computer for a couple hours and just get that done. This week's gonna be just a bunch of propagation, some fluval and perlite props that I have going on. This is a Sandatsa Silver Hero. It's a two leafer. I've been growing in a mixture of stratum and perlite, as you can see. Um, the stratum has been working wonders for the shop. I really love it for these propagations. I've been able to root plants in just a couple of weeks and be able to get them out. So whenever a plant is on the shop and it's in stratum like this, the title of it and the description will say that it's a starter plant. Starter plant means that it's either barely rooted or semi-rooted. I usually try to wait until it has a decent amount of roots, but it's not a full plant. So just make sure that you are reading the description of the item that you're purchasing because I don't want there to be any confusion that these are like full plants. They are not full plants. They are not on the same, I guess, level like the plants that are in the aeroid mix. These are just props and these are just really for the people who just prefer smaller plants because some people do. For a while, I had stopped doing propagations because I was just having a hard time keeping up with them, but I have a much better system now and I have a better routine. I feel like personally, I am in a better headspace now than I was a few months ago with the shop. I was really struggling in the last few months of 2023 with the shop. I just had like no motivation for it. I was not like checking on my propagations. They were just dying. I was getting overwhelmed, but I've kind of shifted my mindset a lot and I've put myself on a schedule with doing things and I found out a way that works best for me. It's definitely hard running a business, but it's really hard when your business revolves around plants because these are living things. And I feel that if you're a shop or you're just a regular collector at home, you have to be in the right headspace to take care of plants. And 
That might sound kind of silly, but I definitely think it's true. For me, if I am not doing good mentally, I am not gonna care for any of my plants or any of the shop plants. And that is definitely something I have experienced. Definitely experienced burnout with the shop. I've wanted to quit so many times, but we are here today and we're doing better than ever. So sometimes you just have to just have a reset and figure out what works for you. I think that I'm just in a good, comfortable place now. I definitely do have stress, um, but my stress levels are not as high. A lot of my stress comes from lack of time. As you guys know, I do not do the shop full time. I have a full-time corporate job that I work. I work over 50 hours a week and I dedicate my nights and my weekends to the shop. So I definitely am working 24 seven, but that is something that comes along with owning a business. So I've been trying to get in a better routine with things so I can at least have a day off. Usually I try to give myself Friday nights off because that's the only time I really have. And when it comes to the shop shipments, I think right now I'm at my limit when i get the shop shipments it's a lot of work for me and i do it alone so yeah as much as i would love to have those big plant shipments every single week i wish that i could it is impossible for me to do it alone i don't want to hire anybody because number one i do this out of my house i don't have a location for this um i do it at a home and i don't want to just be bringing some random person in my house and also i do things at such random times like you know what i mean like i don't know how i would schedule in an employee and honestly i'm such an introvert i would just rather do things by myself so yeah i am the cause of my own problems but we are getting better at it anyway this is a silver hero here we have two of these philodendron brandies right here um, I recently propagated these. I have another, I think three propagations of these left. Um, they are really cute and a nice little size. We have a really cute Hoya Sunrise here. Um, a lot of the props, they have been in those propagation bins that you guys saw probably in the last clip, I think that's where I'm gonna put it in. Because I've been taking a lot of propagations lately, it's just so much easier to stick them in a giant bin like that with a clear lid and just leave them in there and put them under a grow light because they will grow so much faster just in 100% humidity like that and they will just root really fast. So that's where I've been keeping them. These plants have probably only been in that bin for like two or three weeks and they're already rooting. You can even see how the aerial roots are looking. Um, usually that happens when there's a ton of humidity as well. So if you're struggling with propagations, try just putting them in a humidity bin. It will work great. I'm also going to put up this little Monstera's High Constellation. I completely forgot that I had this plant and that it wasn't on the shop. I had recently got two of these and one I gave away and the other one was supposed to be on the shop, but I completely forgot about it. And then the last plant is the Syngonium Chia Pants Variegated. It is so nice. This is a top cut. The bottom cut is currently on the shop. This plant has really, really good genetics, as you can see. Beautiful, big leaves. This is the newest leaf. It has a new leaf coming in. I have it in Perlite and Stratum. As you can see, this is how it's doing really well. I recently took this out a couple days ago so that I can start getting it used to just regular humidity. So I'm going to just leave it out for now, but it's doing really well. It's a beautiful top cut if you are in the market for this plant. So that is what we have that's going up this week, but we're also going to be restocking the display cases. Thank goodness, finally they're here. If you're new here, you probably seen these around my studio. They are acrylic boxes that are completely airtight and you can use them for literally anything that you wanna put on display. I added these to my shop sometime last year and you guys really loved them. They sold out so fast. So I was trying to restock them as soon as I could. I ordered them in the beginning of January and unfortunately they came this week. There was a huge holdup with this product. If you've been around, you guys know that this product has definitely given me such a headache for the last few months. And the fact that it arrived like two months late, like just drives me crazy. So now I know when I'm getting low on this product, I need to like order it ASAP because it just takes so long. So this is the product. Don't mind how dirty it is because these are like my samples. So they're dirty. I need to clean them. This is the product right here. This is the size if you want to see it like to scale to like my body. It has a door on the front. It opens like this. You can style this however you want. You can have it this way. You can put it this way and open it like this. You can flip it upside down if you wanted to and open it like this. You can lay it down like this and open it like this. It's however you want. The really cool thing about this product is that on the sides, there are little notches so that you can easily stack another one on top. 
and it won't like shift or move because it perfectly aligns up with the notches. I'm going to get some updated pictures of these. I do have pictures already and the listing is already created, but I am in the process of updating all my shop photos to have that same new backdrop that I got. This one product alone weighs like three pounds. So it is a heavy product to be shipping. And I was struggling last year coming up with a shipping solution for this because the more weight a package weighs, the more expensive the shipping gets. And it's just something that I just, I can't control. Like this is just a heavier product. So the shipping does definitely go up a little bit with this, especially if you are um, like on the West Coast because we ship from the East Coast. So anything I ship to the West Coast is obviously going to be a little bit more expensive. So how they ship them to me, they ship them in multiple boxes and they just put them in this little bubble wrap here. James and I are going to completely open every single one and I have to make sure that there are no cracks, no dents, nothing on any of these products because if there is a crack or something, it's going to affect the way it gets put together. And then that is deemed a faulty product. And I don't want to ship out a product that's already broken. Yes, things can happen on the way to you. It could be completely fine, but in the mail system, it can crack. And that is something that I was dealing with last year which was driving me freaking insane it was making it to the point where i didn't even want to deal with this product anymore because of the way that the packages were getting tossed around they were getting cracked so you will receive it flat like i just showed you i've asked them to include instructions like on paper with the product so that you don't have to go to the qr code and i've asked them to make the instructions easier to read here is what we have here it makes it so much easier i know that you guys were kind of struggling a little bit like trying to put it together but once you like figure it out it's really easy so you can see on the diagram you just kind of just snap them together so yeah you can come up with so many different ideas for this product and it's super cute as well and the door actually does have a magnet here and here so it just will always close itself shut. It is 100% airtight and the humidity levels do get super high in here. So I do have three samples here and what I'm gonna do is just build these really quick so that I can get new pictures. Obviously I have some that are already built but they're so disgusting and dirty. I want them to be nice and clean for the photos. So yeah, I'm going to just use these three samples and then get some photos of these, get the pictures of the plants. When I'm done with all the pictures, I'm gonna go downstairs to the living room with James. We're going to open them all up, check for cracks, repackage them. So they're all gonna come in the bubble wrap still, but I'm going to retape them so they're super tight. And then I think I'm gonna try, I hope it works, to put this um, paper around them as well. This is like a cardboard version of bubble wrap basically, but it works really good for like glass products. Um, so that it doesn't like crack. So we're gonna just see if we can do the bubble wrap and then wrap them again in this like stretch paper.
finally finished checking each and every package for any damages and that took a really long time. Each product has seven pieces that are all individually like wrapped. So literally had to take out each piece for each package and check them front and back for cracks and damages and stuff. We ended up having about 20 that are cracked. I think what happened with this set was that one or two of the boxes ended up getting tossed really hard on the ground or moved around in the truck or something. The entire box that I opened, they were all cracked all on the same side. I was only gonna bring up like 30 of them, but I ended up bringing about 100 of them upstairs because I think I can store them up here. I just have to rearrange some things. And then the other 100 and something, we just left them in the garage. We just put them in a box. So yeah, we checked them all and then we wrapped them really tight because they were super loose and that's probably why a lot of them get broken. While I was doing this downstairs, I did announce on my Instagram and YouTube community tab that these were available on my website and then I'll do an official announcement in the email that comes out this coming Thursday. If you ever like want to know quick updates, I usually do post them on Instagram and I do post it on the YouTube community tab so you can keep up with either one, whatever platform that you use. And already in a few hours of me posting that, we did get a couple sales on these. So thank you guys so much. I know so many of you guys are waiting for them and make sure you guys send me pictures because I would like to feature them on the product page. Before I close out the vlog, I wanna let you guys know that I am participating in a collab giveaway on Instagram. If you have an Instagram and you're a USA resident, you can go ahead to my Instagram and participate. I will have the link to my Instagram in the comments section as well as my description. The post is pinned on my profile. There are going to be three winners. The first prize is going to be a Monstera Albo from Simple Plant Farm. The second prize is going to be this Philodendron El Choco Red from me. And the third prize is going to be a bottle of fertilizer from the Plant Lady San Francisco. Make sure you guys go ahead and check it out because you have until Saturday, March 16th to enter. And don't worry YouTube, I'm going to be doing another giveaway for you guys probably in the next month or so. So you guys can look out for that. I know a lot of you guys don't have Instagram. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I I will see you guys next week. Bye.